Hi everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make this card here. Now this is called a collapsible pillar card. This was actually a request and I was sent a link to Jamie Rogers on YouTube and he's made one. His is actually this way and he's got, I think his is Christmas. He's got some really nice Christmas sentiments, but you've got these layered panels or acetate panels. And when I saw it, I thought that's going to look really good as a space themed card i think it would also work really well if you're looking into a pond and i made this one during my facebook live and there was lots of really nice comments and ideas being thrown in the chat so it's it's a really fun one i can't wait to see what other people start um making you know themes they start making with this one now when you fold this one flat so the collapsible name comes because you fold any way you want to start so this one's going to start going out to the left and then this one goes to the right, and the next one to the left, and then to the right. And when it folds flat, that will fit into a six by six box envelope. And I'll have that popping up now, because I've got a tutorial for that. So although it's got all that dimension, because it collapses down, you can see that cool effect, it will fit into still a normal size envelope. So you can make this any size that you want. It's really fun and I love the way it looks like that as well because I'm actually having mine like this. This is how this one's going to be displayed. What I'm going to make today's is going to be this way. It's still going to be a space theme, but just this way up. But also when you just kind of straighten it all out, it will stand up as well, like so. So, and it, it is so nice. It's hard to really, I think, appreciate all the depth in this card until you see it in person. I've used the holographic card there as well, which looks really nice when it catches the light. And there's these little holographic hexagons that I've also stuck on the acetate. But each of those images is on a different layer. And then I've just distressed the background, which is the same as how I did on the tunnel card. This is a form of pillar card and I have a playlist of pillar cards as well so if you've never done this style before check out the pillar card playlist maybe start off with one of the more basic ones and then you can build up to this because you can add as many of these layers as you want so if you maybe just want to do two or three you can you just keep adding more and more as you go so it's very easy to do so let me show you how so I've already made the background and I've stamped and coloured all of the images. If you want to see all of that being done, I will share the Facebook Live making this card in the description box below. And I'll also share the tunnel tutorial that I mentioned up here. So you can check that one out because that has the background in it there as well. So this is the space stamp set. So it's out in space and I've used pretty much every design on there and then I've just picked out a sentiment. So this one is going to be have a blast. And then on that, on that one there, it was the birthday greetings earthling the embossing folder is this one here as well which is really nice all those small images there and that's what i've used on the holographic cardstock there so first of all you want yourself a piece of ten and a half by six card and it's along the ten and a half side that you're going to score at half an inch one two and two and a half and then just flip and do the same. So half, one, two, and two and a half. Okay. Then these pieces here, I would say you want a minimum of four if you just want to do the three layers there. Because these are these bottom ones are attached to this piece. So they're already there. So that's two, which is those ones. And then you've got another two there so that's four and then you've got those ones there as well so yeah i'd say a minimum of four but i've got six so six pieces if you want to do exactly the same height as me and those are three by six on each one along the three inch side you're going to score a half an inch one and then two and two and a half do that same scoring on all of them and then you can see i've just added some tape on the half inch outer panels because that's what's going to attach to the acetate so that's why i've used tape now this doesn't have to be acetate this could be cardstock if you want and if it's cardstock then you can just use your liquid glue but because i'm going to be sticking onto acetate double-sided tape works better so i'm going to stick that onto there in a moment and then the acetate i've got my sheets here and these are five and a quarter by six so along the five or well it's down the six inch side that i've put my double-sided tape here and that's what's going to attach so i've got four pieces because i've got the four layers but you may only want three again it depends on how much 
you know how big you're doing yours the acetate that i've used it's always between the two i've got this one here essential arts i got this one off of amazon and then i've also got this one here which is 12 by 12 and this one's by do crafts so that's all the scoring and then these two pieces here are one by six and they're for the very top panels so first of all you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines on all of the pieces that you've got So first of all, we're going to attach these sides here. So you want to run some glue just down the outer half inch tab. OK, you want to fold that one over and then you want to make sure that you've got the one inch and the half inch facing you. So you'll have this other half inch piece facing away. As long as you've always got a, a one inch piece and a half inch piece, then you know that you stuck the right amount down and then just give that a good burnish and then just fold it that way and you'll see you get that perfect pillar so the card will start to stand up so again on the other side fold that one over you'll see I've got the one inch and then the half inch and fold it back that way okay so that is a standard pillar card like I said I've got those on the channel already but the pillar is one by one so it's a one by one cube so it stands much more and then you put like a band across here you maybe have an oval or a circle shape in the middle there's lots of different ways to design it but they look really nice and then that means it will stand up a bit better because although that stands it's quite easy you know would fall over so that one's all down then i've got the pattern paper or whatever it is that you're adding and that's going to go in here like i said I'll show you how to do this in that facebook live so i'm going to use the kalau construction glue on this one just to really strengthen that back section this one here is three and three eighths of an inch by six it's a little bit this is three and a half wide but i come in just that little bit just so it definitely fits in there and then you want to take your first piece of acetate give this a good wipe use some rubbing alcohol or surgical spirit and that will bring it up nice. I did give all these a wipe before, so this should be okay. So you want to stick the first one just slightly in from the edge here. So it's about one eighth of an eight, one eighth of an inch in. And I'm just popping my finger there to get it nice and flush with the top, and just let that run down to the bottom. And then you've got the one inch piece and the half inch piece off to the left. So make sure this folds to the left, and then that should just sit over the top there. With the double-sided tape you see it's like patchy you make sure you burnish over it until it goes really dark and that way you know that that tape is completely stuck to the card okay so now when we bring that up if you just push one side the other one will automatically go but you'll see it starts to really build that shape now i'm just going to make sure that's stuck down okay then we're going to take these ones here take the backing off and fold that one over okay so just the sticky one you're going to line up that fold with the edge here again just use your finger to kind of make sure that's sitting in the corner nicely and then you can open it up just go in there burnish that and then take the tape the other side fold that one under and again you're working the same way so you want to make sure you've got a one inch piece and the half inch fold so that other half inch is behind and you'll see it will line up perfectly with the one below so now when you bring that one up you see we've got these two pillars i'll show you again with this side and then i'm just going to fast forward or we'll speed up the other pieces so again fold that one over folded side is now going to line up along this one here just run that like so 
and then move the tape. Again, always make sure to so push all this now off to this side. You've always got the one, fold that sticky one under, but you've got the one inch and the half inch. And that way, you know, you've always got it where it needs to be. And now we've got the two. And then I can take my next piece of acetate and stick that down. So I'm going to work my way through the rest of these. Okay, so now you should have something like this. You can see all four layers there. So now I'm going to stick down these strips. Okay, so now I just need to attach all these pieces. So I put foam on the back and I'm going to use my tweezers. If you know what you're sticking down, then stick it down, you know, each time you lay the acetate down and then build the next layer and so on so you don't have to do what i'm doing but i've done this during the live and it's quite nice to be able to just place things in you know where you in fact i think i should have the rocket on the outside with the sentiment because this one's going to be portrait and then i can just start to you know position things put that one right down the bottom it's nice doing it this way because you can make sure you can see, you know, each each piece. So I'm happy with that positioning. So now I'm going to stick it all down. Okay, so they're all now in place. It just looks brilliant. It, it's such a fun card. I just really enjoyed this one. So next I'm going to just finish it with some of these. These are Cosmic Shimmer and they are just little hexagon sequins. I can't remember exactly what they were listed as, but I'm just using the smallest amount of the Kalau glue because this will dry on the acetate. And then just take one of them and just place them over the top there. And you can go, you know, as mad as you want with these. They look really effective and they, they match, obviously, the, the mirrored card there perfectly. But it's literally the smallest amount of glue. And just let them grab. You don't need to push it down or anything. That will be enough. So I'm just going to put a few on the top and then I just... Just gone in on the sides and just added a, a few more there. So that's the finished card. So that's the portrait version. So I would cut a piece of five and a quarter by five and three quarters and stick that on the back and then you can stamp and write your message. And then again, for this one to fold, you just want to push you know, one towards the left and then the next one goes towards the right and then to the left and then the right. So you get that. It's like a chevron, like an arrow. If I put it that way, you can see you've got this, these two light arrows and that now will fit into your envelope. Like I said, I'll link them or they'll be popping up again now. So that kind of just springs open and it's just easy to display. And then you've got this one here, which can be the landscape version or you can lay it down this way as well and I think it looks really nice I love both the same I think they 
they're just they're just lovely cards really fun we were talking about having layers of flowers so you could have like the, the leaves and then some of the bloom and then a bit more of the bloom on the next level and kind of build it that way the pond idea i think will look fantastic so you're looking down into the pond we thought maybe a winter scene um what was the one we were talking about a lot of the paper discovery dies so she's got like the the viaduct die which i've got with the train that would look really nice you can build like a country scene or something there's there's heaps you can do and i always say if you're not a member if you're on facebook and you're not a member of the mixed up crafters facebook group then go over there because we've got over nine thousand people there now so we've got people sharing the cards that i make but in different themes and um you know variations so you may not want to do the space theme but if you head over to mixed up crafters you might see some beautiful floral designs and just other you know themes and occasions there as well that might inspire you all that will also be linked in the description box below so as always this product will be linked below as well and there'll be some other videos popping up now i'll have the tunnel card using the same stamps and dies so you might want to watch that one next and if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today please subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you'll be notified every time i upload something new Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.